Hi there. Welcome back to my little channel here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, install these pistons in the engine. And you know what this is? The piston ring compressor. This works, but doesn't work too good. What happens is when we try to use it like this, part of it sticks out here. Now this is not done really correctly. Anyhow, you understand part of it sticks out and ends up stuck between the piston and uh, the cylinder bore. It is a little bit too thin and it's especially problematic with the uh, oil rings here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a new uh, piston ring compressor in 10 minutes and um, it's maybe not the best solution. A, a good uh, piston ring compressor is of course better, I, I would believe, but let's see. We are going as usually to do something with what we have in the garage and it's a rather old school. So, well, let's start. I take a piece of sheet metal, a ruler, I make my markings you can't see it on the camera but I use a approximately one inch wide band here How long does it have to be? Thirty five and additionally two, two centimeters more. That's thirty seven. That's my ring compressor. 
no way that's gonna work maybe you say well what we do we take an old piece of pliers like this like this There we have it. Will it work? Let's find out. So here we are. This is the engine I'm going to assemble now. It's a 440. Here we have the piston. our new tool There you have it. First string. 